Reading, Writing, and Talk, Inclusive Teaching Strategies for Diverse Learners K-2 through is a book that explains inclusive teaching strategies for reading, writing, and oral language development in the primary grades. The book addresses the diversity of bilingual students in addition to students of color who are growing up in communities and cultures different from what is considered the norm in many elementary classrooms. The first two chapters give background information and build the reader's knowledge about honoring and valuing diversity in the classroom and understanding what that might look like in a classroom. The third chapter focuses on building a learning community and honoring diversities in the classroom. These first three chapters focused on making sure to recognize and honor the knowledge that students are bringing into the classroom. The first chapter discusses how multiple languages can enhance the learning of students and is really an asset for those students. This chapter really spoke to me as I work in a school with many Spanish speakers. I have always been told to encourage my students to speak English during the day, and so that's what I have done. I enjoyed learning from this text that it is not only okay to allow my students to speak their native language in the classroom, but it should be encouraged. The third chapter discusses family funds of knowledge and helping students to feel included in the classroom by inviting their parents and families into the classroom to teach the class about something that is unique to their culture or family. It helps the parents feel like they belong and helps the children to see that their parents are experts and their culture and knowledge is valued. In a school that is struggling to try to involve our bilingual families, this chapter helped me to have ideas to share with my colleagues for including families in and around our school. The fourth through sixth chapters of the book focus on oral language, reading, and writing for students from diverse backgrounds. The fourth chapter discusses questioning, storytelling, and play as aspects of learning. It also discusses the importance of paying attention to the language students are using, allowing them to use their first languages. Students are often ready to tell stories before writing them, and their use of oral language is definitely leading them into the world of literacy as we generally look at it, reading and writing. The fifth chapter discusses understanding the process children go through when learning to read. To help us understand all of the cues that children use, the authors included an example with symbols instead of words and letters to help us see what clues and cues we use to try to figure it out. It continues by explaining ways that you can structure a reading block in order to support the diverse learning needs of students from diverse backgrounds. The last chapter of the text discusses teaching writing. It discusses interactive written conversations and morning messages. It explains how to make writing workshop relevant for your setting. These pictures are examples from the text of some of the different kinds of writing that students did. The tool I taught from this book came from this chapter. The six room writing strategy is a planning tool to help students say more about whatever they are writing about. Each room on the page has a question to accompany it. I modified the question slightly for my students. This book also has an online resource available with more ideas for use in the classroom. I definitely learned a lot about myself as a teacher and how to better reach the students in my classroom through reading this book. My biggest takeaways were about including families and multiple languages in my classroom. This book is great because it lists many diverse texts that can be used in the classroom and gives some examples of how those texts were used in classrooms through the writing of this book. I used a lesson from the online resource that had students sharing and writing about their families and was able to use a planning resource from the actual text. I feel that this lesson helps my students to feel proud of the cultural differences of their families and brings the diversity of their families into the classroom. If you have any diversity at all in your school, this book will be a valuable addition to your professional library.